This video is to be used for educational purposes only and is not intended to replace individual research or licensed investment advice. Unique experiences and past performance does not guarantee future results. Trading stocks, options, and spot currencies involves substantial risk and there's always the potential for loss. Your trading results may vary. No representations are being made that any software or training will guarantee profits or not result in losses from trading. This is the Premier Trade Market Wrap. This is the Market Wrap on a Monday. I'm Jack Lott here on the James Dix Financial Network. The man who was once called the Sheriff of Wall Street, New York Governor Elliot Spitzer, is under investigation for allegedly meeting with a prostitute in a Washington hotel. Before a news conference held earlier this afternoon, three Democratic sources said that a top Spitzer aide had told them that the governor would be resigning. Countrywide Financial is being investigated by the FBI for possible securities fraud. The report said the probe focuses on whether Countrywide's management misrepresented the quality of its mortgages in routine securities filings. In other news today, economically, the U.S. wholesale inventories rose 0.8 percent in January, while sales increased 2.7 percent, the largest increase in nearly four years. Inventory to sales ratio fell back to a record low of 1.07. Survey says that the national average price for gas rose nine cents over the last couple of weeks. According to the Lundberg survey, the average price of self-serve regular gas on Friday was three nineteen a gallon. Mid-grade three thirty-one premium was at three forty-two. McDonald's February global same-store sales rose eleven point seven percent from a year ago, on a benefit of about four percentage points from an extra day due to the leap year. The company said the U.S. comp store sales rose eight point three percent, fueled by strong sales of the company's premium roast coffee and value offerings. China's trade surplus shrank 63 percent in February as sales of goods to the U.S. fell, but analysts said exports should bounce back now that winter storms that disrupted the economy have passed. And European Central Bank President Jean-Claude Trichet said that the bank is concerned about the euro's appreciation stepping up his rhetoric after the currency climbed to a record against the U.S. dollar. Scheduled economic reports out on Tuesday include the retail chain index for the week of March 8th and the January trade gap report. In earnings, Vail Resorts reporting net income for the quarter dropping to $51.3 million. That's $1.31 a share. Kohlberg Capital reporting net investment income excluding net unrealized losses of $7.2 million or 40 cents. And Six Flags reporting its fourth quarter net loss narrowed as the year ago period was hurt by a hefty loss from discontinued operations. The amusement park operator reported a loss after preferred dividends of $132.4 million or $1.39 a share. Earnings scheduled for tomorrow, some of the marquee names, Kroger, Dick's Sporting Goods, Bonton Stores, J. Crew Group, Payless Shoe Source, Take-Two Interactive, and John Wiley & Sons. Some of the stocks in the news today, MBIA Inc. expecting $200 million in market-to-market -market losses from its credit derivative business. Fannie Mae named Jacqueline Wagner as Senior Vice President and Chief Audit Executive. And Amerisource Bergen Corp. trading higher against uh, or after the UBS upgraded the pharmaceutical distributor to neutral from sell, citing valuation. That is the market wrap on a Monday. Jack Lott here on the James Dix Financial Network.